Hi everyone, welcome to the session on machine learning with Python after a long time. So in this session, we will learn about handling missing values and basically we will see what are uh, none versus none. So when we get the values, the default values from some of the database from sensors or any other, at times uh, the, the missing values will be filled with none or none. And what are the different uh, sources or the reason for the missing data? It can be a faulty sensor, it can be incorrect data, which is being uh, entered by the manual data entry jobs. I, even it can be due to the uh, like mass update of table with unwanted value. And people do not respond to survey. They will miss one or two questions, which will result in the missing values in the data set and even the the bots or the robots which is ca capturing the data okay that also at times it will miss some fields and which also will lead to uh, the missing data species are rare and cannot be found or sampled so that is one of the reason and then there are many other reasons for this the, the this session is basically more uh, will more emphasize on the behavior of none and none there are cases during uh, during one hot encoding during uh, uh, during uh, during your ordinal encoders where you need to understand that you will get some error and how np.nan will help you even i have shown in my previous video i'll again show how the none and nan will behave so let's start first of all we'll check the type of nan so if i type nan okay you will get nan type and if i type import numpy as np and then i'll type so then the NAND type is nothing but a float number. NAND is nothing but a not a number. Okay. Now after this, we do a, a logical comparison of this uh, NAND and NAND. Okay. So if we say NAND or true, it will say okay true. If we say if we say NP dot NAND or true, NP dot NAND is nothing but an in the mathematics term it is nothing but a undefined number. So anything with which if you add or subtract it will fetch you undivided okay so here we will see now the arithmetic operation on and uh, on the nan and as well as on the none so if we say none plus none so none type is is itself a none type you cannot do an addition or subtraction after this if we say none plus 100 again we'll get the same error none plus true it will give the same and none by suppose 100 it will give you the same error now if we do some arithmetic operation on because np dot number it is nothing but a float number which is an undefined float number so if we say that np dot nan plus np dot nan it will give you a nan some undefined number okay infinite plus infinite will be something infinite you don't know the value similarly if you give np dot nan plus 100 it will give you nan only and again np dot uh, nan divide by 100 it will give you nan and again np dot nan okay minus again np dot dot nan this will also give you nan and after this if we give suppose if we give uh, np dot nan minus 500 so it will again give you nan okay so this is the way like how our, our uh, like uh, the none and uh, nan will behave apart from this let's see the how the comparison operator works for both so if we say that none equals to equals to none this will work okay but if we say np dot n nan is equal to np dot nan it will not work it will give you false because nan is something undefined number we don't know so any undefined number cannot uh, be compared to an undefined number it will definitely give you false now after that how do we check for nan whether it it, it exists or not so for that we have to simply use np dot is nan like in pandas and in numpy we can use is nan function will be there np dot is nan and then you have to pass np dot nan the moment you give it will prove it will fetch you the true value now if you do the same dot is nan for none it will give you error because it is not supported nan uh, none itself is a different type and nan uh, np dot nan is a different data type what i have tried here uh, just to give you a basic understanding of none and nan because when you will deal with uh, machine learning uh, data sets okay when you will input the data set to a model okay first of all it should be numeric and again 
when you are uh, trying to um, uh, remove the missing values handle the missing value make sure nan is np dot nan is present there then only your computer and other thing it will be handled and it will update it and it will remove the missing values very easily otherwise you will face a lot of problem so that is for the session thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video which will be related to the knn imputers i'll see you in my next video thank you